A big cliche g'day folks and welcome to episode one of my vanilla survival series. One day at a time. I'm gonna do this in a slow-mo method. Just to show you that even if you don't know how to do much stuff, you can take your time. Like this first day when I first started playing, I would have been panicking to collect wood. No, I don't care. I'm okay. Um, you can you can easily take your time and survive really well in the land of Minecraft. Let's start. First things first, we will need to be protected. Um, and normally I would have said second things first. Find a nice place to live. But oh, look at this water that's around us. Nice amount of water. Punching them trees. I do like this... See, this will be rife with ores as well. I don't have to dig down. I can dig in. Let's get some more wood, though. It's not going to be a achievement hunter, even though I just got one. And actually, now that I've got that, I will get the wood one as well. Um, but any suggestions down below, guys, if you want me to head in a certain direction, like literally, if you want me to go north, south, east, or west, if you want me to build a specific something, you can see that I've got the map here. So it is slightly modded. That is the only mod that I have got uh, installed in this Forge version of Minecraft. Uh, let's just, how about we just whack it there? We'll just whack that one there. And I like to replant the trees. Keep my carbon footprint low. From here, generally I would attempt to... Maybe find coal um, to keep the light, to make sure that there's light around um, through the night time. And also with something like this, and I might just fist my chest again, you could, instead of building a house straight away, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig in here, get myself some cobble. And this will also make for a good day one makeshift survivally holy thingy. And if I do end up staying here, it will probably be the beginnings of a little mineshaft area for me. I doubt it by this point, but there might be some people out there who are newbie to Minecraft. And one of the biggest tips that I can offer you is use tools, use certain tools for certain activities such as my pickaxe i will generally unless i noob it myself generally only use it for stone type objects being like granite andesite diorite cobble of course stone all of that if i don't have a shovel i will fist if i don't have a axe to chop trees i will also just bash it down with my fist Boop. Um, and I'm not going to waste time doing that, but I might just place my chest, which isn't a chest, it's a crafting bench, in here. And now I've got some cobble. I can do things quite a bit faster, but still, guys, remember, you can take your sweet time. Now, if I just put some cobble around, look at that. I have a furnace as well. Let's just get that in there. Um, I will... Will I? Will I? I will make all of my tools because I think I've got just enough to do everything with here. So I've got my pickaxe. I'll do an axe. Put them all in there at once. That's a shovel. And my hoe. Did I have it? I didn't have enough. Meh. So axe. Hoe. Oh, I did. Look at that. I'm an idiot. And shovel. Yay. All right. Let's keep picking. Let's keep picking. So uh, looking for coal now uh, and I might just for the sake of doing whack a door on here I want it from the outside actually so it's flush look at that there we go look now it's protecty okay so let's start digging down I'll probably end up eventually like flattening out this area if I stay here Food will be a very important thing as well. Your hunger doesn't start going down, I believe, until like the night of the first day or at least, um, oh, hello, iron, or at least the next day, day number two. Another good way to cheat. Look at that map. Look at the map. Um, 
I can see where all of the tunnels are. Sort of. Could never really figure out those maps, but you know. Now, seeing as there isn't any immediate coal, I'm going to go ahead and stick some oak wood in there. And an oak block. A little plank. And we'll make some, um, we'll just make some charcoal. Two charcoal, two sticks will give me, f I don't know, eight torches. Me thinks I get four from each. Oh no. I'll need two. That's okay. Let's see where the day is. See, there's still loads and loads and loads of sun. Loads of sun. It's only noon. Look at that. It's noon. Thank you, Mr. Charcoal. So now we can make torches. Yay, I have eight. And for some reason, I always put them in that ninth, uh, the ninth spot down the bottom there. Oh, hello. Hey, and there's coal. Isn't that ouch? That hurt. Isn't that just typical? As soon as you make charcoal and you waste your wood, you find coal. This will be a lot better now. So that uh, iron ore that I found... I will just automatically be able to smelt it instead of wasting all my wood. I did call this a day at a time when I did my little intro there. What I am going to do, like I said, I'm just going to take this really slowly and each episode will be one Minecraft day. So the end of my episode will actually end at what I would expect to be maybe like an 8 o'clock in the morning. In Minecraft here. I reckon that's where you start off. Seven or eight in the morning and your general Minecraft day. And I'm in a hole. I don't want to be in a hole. I reckon there's sand here, which means there's water. Maybe. Ah, oh, okay. I was two away, but that's okay. Plant a tree. Now that I have my axe as well, my stone axe, I can collect a lot more wood. This might even... I'll do have this being a little basement and maybe have a house off of here so even with like three quarters of the day passed i still have plenty of time to collect enough wood and make a nice little i don't know five by five hut for myself i could alternate between oak and birch you pretty much do whatever you want but if you are starting off on minecraft just dig a hole if you don't feel that you can do it uh, in a quick enough time, just dig a hole. It all comes with practice. I'm going to leave that tree. I hate those fat oaks. I could turn this into a uh, Achievement Hunter series, but the one thing I do find when playing solo, there's one achievement which has always baffled me. And I hear there is a solution to it. It's the um, the one where you have to have, I think it's called Diamonds to You, where you have to have a fellow player throw a diamond at you that you catch. I believe the um, cheat around that is that you can drop one on the floor in front of a zombie. Uh, and sometimes, I think it's almost like 25% of the time, maybe 20, the zombie will pick up an object like, You'll see the zombies with their rotten flesh walking around in front of you. And then if you kill it, it'll drop the diamond. And that means that's a way that you've been able to pick it up. Ooh, look at that. So I've got my little... Uh, here we go. We'll stick, a, we'll stick a torch in there. I might stick a couple around here as well, shall I? This will be pretty safe anyway. I do believe the stats on spawning is that bad guys, your monsters, will not spawn within 16 blocks of where you are anyway. So basically a chunk. And then if they're lit up, even better. So all the information about my background music, my texture pack, and everything like that. I do like this texture pack. That will be in the description below. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. There's a good look at that, look at that over there. Let's go. Do you want to have a look? Let's go and have a look. Is this a ravine? I don't even have a sword yet. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, good. There's chickens over there. I like collecting chickens early because 
feathers. Oh, nice amount of ore. Feathers mean I have a lot of arrows. And arrows are my favourite weapon when I head to the nether. Obviously, the bow kind of counts in there as well. But you know what I mean. I went on a chicken hunt the other day in just one of my little personal worlds. And because they were so far away from my little home base, I was just killing them. Killing them everywhere. Um, I ended up killing, I think I killed 50 chickens because I ended up with 50 raw chicken carcasses. But I got an absolute butt ton of arrows. It was, I mean, the feathers to make arrows, which was great. Now look at that red spot over there. What is it? Can I see it? I'm not close enough. Oh, it's a witch. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go kill that. How about we smelt some iron? I am in a safe place. There's probably a bad guy up there. Look at the red dot on my map. He's up there somewhere, I bet. But I'm more than safe in here. Smelt the iron. Do, 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 do. Can whack that in there. Where did my iron go? Iron ore. Nice. Get another torch down here because this ain't so safe. And while that's smelting, I'll just have a little diggy dig. And see if I can actually get anywhere. I reckon if I just went straight ahead, I'd end up in those tunnels there. But I'll go down. Oop. Stuff going on. There's stuff happening everywhere. I definitely need a sword. That is very, very important. And one other thing, which I haven't actually been using lately, is the new um, shield. As you can see, oh no, this is my crafting bench. That wasn't very clever. In my personal inventory, there we go. There's a shield spot there. And the way to create that would be as if you were going to make a boat. Where did I have, can I, that's dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Let's just get some more. So yes, you go on to create a boat. So that would be a boat, but let's not do that. Let's turn it into a Y. Why? Because I gotta. And then stick the iron ingot in there. And ta-da, you have a shield. And then you see when you actually equip it in that spot, it kind of, it gets in my bloody way. You right click to actually shield yourself. Um, oh, what is that red dot? That's a, that's a bad guy moving very quickly. Um, but I've actually noticed that since 1.10, uh, 1 point, whatever we are, something point 10, that the main reason for using the shield, which was the skeletons, um, they're actually a lot slower than they were when the shield, or when they, when the skeletons started strafing, which is extremely irritating. So I shall find a skeleton and I will do it without the shield because you got, honestly, you got plenty of time. There's a spider. There's got to be, got to be a skeleton around here somewhere. Nice amount of chickens. I am quite happy with this. I'm going to want cows too, though. Feathers, another bloody spider. Feather, oh, creeper. How about, ah, uh, did you hear that? The skeleton got the creeper. I'm good with that. All right, Mr. Smellington. Where'd you go? Oi, there you are. Okay. So, see, they're still quite strafey. But, again, you've got plenty of time. And look at that. Bony bones. Oh, creeper. Oh, creeper. <laughs> That's a probably... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One thing that you don't want to take your time. No! No! Uh-oh. One thing you... Do oh, dear God. One thing you don't want to take time with is hanging around with creepers. Because they're creepers. And they do a lot of creeping. Creeper's gonna creep, you know. Is there one over there? There's loads. What's up? Is this like mega creeper land or something? Hashtag mega creeper land. That's, this tree's bothering me. I don't know why, but it just is. It's disturbing my view. And why is there no... There they are. I was about to say, why is there no bad guys on my map? Okay. Progress. Progress is good. This, um... This area is quite picturesque. I want to go over there and have a look. But the amount of evil dudes is alarming. 
I'll definitely have to extend my lit up area. Ah, oh, skeleton. Skeleton. Now, I'm sure you guys out there know by now, but a nice little trick. Uh, if you get a skeleton to kill a creeper, it will actually drop a music disc, which you can create a jukebox, I believe, like you would a chest and then with a diamond inside. I know that creates something. <laughs> Don't quite know what it is, uh, but it creates something. So day number one, I know there's still a little bit to go. Uh, I might just make myself a chest as well. That's only five. Let's get some more. Uh, day number one is almost over. And, oopsie, <laughs> that was a bit silly. And as you can, do you hear that? There's something there. As you can see, you can go f perfectly slow. You're fairly safe. I'm just going to stick some stuff I don't need. I don't, I'm not going to need doors, sand or bones, basically any of this stuff I might pop get rid of that and just pop the wooden pickaxe in there for the next time I'm needing to smelt something all of this can just go don't need any of that don't need that I will keep that actually because I'm going to need more torches it was probably a smarter idea to get rid of the smelted iron is it daylight yet nowhere near uh, and food very important <laughs> As you can tell, because I've been injured, um, my food levels have... Oh, dear God. My food levels have gone down. Does he know I'm here? Um, to help me heal. Uh, so that might be another important thing that you'll want to do in day number one. Is either not get hurt or make sure you've got yourself a little bit of food. Now, I'm going to haha, sneak out of here. Creep up on the creeper. He was going to do it to me. Pitch Up. Oh, oh, damn. Whoa, that was close. Oh, so close. Yeah, four hits. Four hits with an iron sword. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I, as I was saying. And maybe go and... God, I don't really want to kill the chickens. But that's the thing. If I, if I run away somewhere else and find chickens and collect their eggs... Then you can just breed more. So it's okay. There's just so many bad guys around. But you can do it. Look, the moon's, moon's setting. Oh, I've got no speed. I really don't like eating rotten flesh, but it'll, it'll do in a pinch. Now, blue dots are good guys. Red dots, obviously going to be bad guys. I'm walking right into a red dot, a red dot spot. <coughs> A red dot spot. Yeah. More zombie. Ah, oh, is that a baby? Is that a baby one? Bloody is too. Bloody is. Come on. Water is good for saving you from baby zombies. Ah, now they're going to be coming from everywhere. It's one thing. I Check this out. Hang on. Check this out. No, hang on. <laughs> When there's two bad guys standing next to each other, you actually hit them both at the same time now, and they absorb only half of the damage. It's a little annoying, but it just keeps you on your toes. No spam clicking heart egg. No spam clicking to kill anymore. You've actually got to be a little bit more skillful. Put a bit more thought into your actions. All right, well, that's good. I've got, uh, I've got smegs now. Good old smegs. And my last action of the day will be go home, cook this chicken. Ha ha, sucked in. And um, and heal myself. And so, oh, get you, oh, get you, get you, oh, you bugger. Come here. Um, <laughs> and say goodbye. Goodbye for day number one. Quick, quickly. The sun's usually higher than that when we start. That's one thing I'm going to need. And hopefully it will happen around probably... Ow. All right. Time to eat some rotten flesh. That's not fair. Um, I would I would suggest maybe around... I don't know. Episode 10 or 15 when I actually go down deep enough to get gold. And that would be... Make a clock. Clocks and compasses. Oh, dang. I need redstone for that too. But we'll go into that when, when we go into that. So let's just have a bit of chicken. 
Bit of cooked chicken. Yum. Yum. Oh, bum. Oh well, at least that wooden pickaxe uh, kept the furnace blazing for enough to cook one. Haha. <laughs> Come on, baby. One more and I'll be happy. Okie dokie. So last look at my surroundings. Hello, sun. Good morning. And goodbye. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of One Day at a Time. Uh, and you've seen that even if you do take it slow and derp around a little bit, you can survive. There's no need to panic. Stay calm, kids. And say good day to your neighbour.